Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. So I got a busy day ahead of me and I thought I'd bring y'all along the way. We're making some tomato sauce today. Um, the way I make it, it kind of is an all day process, but it's well worth it, especially in the winter time. You know, you got some good tomato sauce for pizzas, pastas, whatever, and it is absolutely delicious. Y'all see all these tomatoes behind me? Tomatoes. And there's a few more right there. So, don't want these to go to waste, so we're going to put them to good use, and I'm going to show y'all how we do this here. I do is get these tomatoes washed. Now, I just use pretty much the tomatoes that I have, which is several, till my pot gets about full. And then I know that's about enough. I know that don't make good sense. Um, there's a really good recipe in the Ball Book of Preserving that I've used many times, and that's what I'll be using today. Maybe throw a little extra spin on it. Look at here, y'all. I'm saving that in for a sandwich. <laughs> now, you don't have to have sauce tomatoes to make pasta sauce, but I'll tell you, um, if you do have sauce tomatoes, the cook process probably wouldn't be quite as long because what you gotta do is cook the water out of this stuff to make it as thick as you want it to be anyway. All right, we'll see how far this gets us. So I'll make sure my tomatoes are real good and washed. I'm gonna do something a little taboo here. And this is totally up to you. You can peel the tomatoes if you want to. I haven't in years, not for my pasta sauce. And I'm still here to tell about it. Since I put them in the food processor, you can't really tell it. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, so that just cuts out an extra step. And if we find a little piece of peeling occasionally, it doesn't bother us, but I have not, I've not noticed that. And I've done it this way at least three or four years. So if you don't have a food processor and you're planning on doing a lot of canning, making sauces and things like that, I'm gonna tell you, it is well worth the investment. This one holds nine cups and I use the fire out of this thing. I use it for my chow chow, for this pasta sauce. I use it to make butter. I use it uh, to make sauce meat in the winter time. I mean, it's just wonderful. So. If you ain't got one, I admit it just makes life a lot easier. <laughs> Next ingredient is garlic. 
Need about eight or ten cloves. I'm gonna see how many is in this big head right here. That's probably how much I'll put I'll put in it. Well guys, this is interesting. This looks like a red onion. I didn't plant any red, I didn't plant any red onions. Well then, what a nice surprise when it's going in the spaghetti sauce. This actually ended up cooking for about seven hours, which I had to cut it off. I had to go run some errands in the middle of the day. Some unexpected things came up. So that slowed down the process a little bit. But as you can see on the edge here, we started up here and it has cooked down by about half, if not a little more. The great thing about this is if you don't wanna wait for it to cook that long, it's just gonna be a little thinner. Um, and I've done that. I've let it get a little thinner, but Andy really likes it thick, so. I try to make give myself enough time to make it good and thick um, and it's where it cooks for so long it has such a wonderful flavor and wonderful texture really doing those tomatoes and everything in the food processor I think it gives it an awesome texture so I'm gonna get this jarred up it'll be water bath for 10 minutes and uh, it'll be ready to put away and make a good meal especially come winter time
right, y'all. Well, there you have it. Um, this little half a jar, I actually have another half a jar where I made spaghetti sauce two days ago. So I'll put those together and put them in the hot water bath as well. So after the hot water bath, they'll sit for 24 hours. We'll take the rings off. They'll be ready for storage. I made about 20 quarts last year and I don't think I have any left from that. So that's probably my goal for this time. As long as the tomatoes keep producing, I'll keep making spaghetti sauce. It, like I said, it's a long process, but it's well worth it. I'll make sure to put this recipe in the description. Let me know in the comments if you decide to try it or if you have any tips or tricks to making spaghetti sauce. I'm always learning so much from all of you. Um, I know these videos are supposed to be me teaching people, but I learned so much from y'all in the comments and I appreciate y'all sharing your knowledge with me as well. I love this community that we have built here on the True Grit channel. So anyways, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching and we'll catch you on the next one.